Go for it. Okay, um, so my tip is for newbies. The first day there was a lot of hands that went up that said we're new. I have come here four times and I have picked up two of my favorite all-time tips and this is number two. Um, so this you'll see here is um, just a, a nice little Word document. I'm sure some of you have gotten this. How many people have had a client send them a bunch of photos in a Word document? Please put up your hand. And how many of you wanted to tear your hair out? <laughs> right, because everybody knows that when you save a picture from Word, it's crap, right? It's blurry and it looks bad. So what I did is I put in a whole bunch of, how come this doesn't work? Oh, there, oh it is reversed. It is what back. the heck? Yeah. Okay, so I put in these photos of stuff from our open house. And then um, I, I, I wrote to myself and said, this is super awesome, I did you a favor, I put it all in Word, just like they tell us, and you go, no, please don't ever do that. But, however, um, a great tip that I learned probably two, three Pepcons ago, I can't remember which one, and I don't know who the speaker was, so thank you, whoever you are, um, said the new Doc X is just zip. So what you do is um, you open up you copy, paste, copy, paste. You take your copy, you go at the end here and you add dot zip. And it says, do you wanna do this? You say, why yes I do. And then you double click it and it unzips it. And then what happens is you open it up and under this Word file here, there's a nice little folder called media. You open it up and all your pictures are originals, originals that are there. <laughs> It gets better. It gets better, people. They're numbered in the order they're in the document. So if you got a Word document that had 20 freaking pictures in it, all you have to do is go InDesign, place my Word, place all the content, and then just go click, place, click, place, click, place, and you're done. That's it. <laughs>